Hi, my name is Cindy Chui. I'm the application engineer at Keysight Technology. Today, we are going to demonstrate how to import and use AirSpice NetList models in ADS. ADS has a full compatibility with AirSpice NetList, which means designers could import and use AirSpice NetList or models in ADS directly. Today, we are going to demonstrate two AirSpice examples. The first one is a AirSpice subcircuit model for PA design. The second example is a top-level AirSpice netlist, which already included all the uh, schematic definition, the bears condition, the simulation settings. So we should be able to use this in ADS simulation directly. Let's take a look on the first example. This is a sub-circuit sub AirSpice netlist for a PA design. To import this model in ADS, let's open ADS environment and create a new schematic window. Let's go to a tools, AirSpice compatibility component, select the wizard. Let's go to select your PA subcircuit uh, model and go to next, uh, all the pins definition and it will also show all the parameters. Uh, you may want to highlight all the parameters and select to display them on ADS schematic. In that case, you can uh, sweep the parameter values or do optimization with those parameters. Let's go to next and finish the importing. This will import your AshSpice subcircuit model in, into ADS. Uh, with all the parameter definitions. We already have this uh, uh, PA test circuit. So we set up all the bears condition and uh, loading definition already. Let's uh, go to uh, insert your imported PA design into this uh, schematic. Uh, you can drag and drop. And another easier way is to uh, search. Uh, PA, you know, put it in your schematic. So if we push into, it actually uh, will link to your SPICE netlist model. Uh, let's launch the transient simulation with this model directly. Then let's take a look on the second example. This is a top level SPICE design netlist, which already included all the libraries needed and all the sub-circuit uh, models. And we have all the parameters and all the DC and the a AC. So this will be a self-contained uh, simulation netlist. So the same flow, let's create a new schematic and load this netlist. So we select this uh, top-level design netlist, follow the same flow. and finish importing. We don't need to modify anything in this netlist, and we can go ahead to set up a transient simulation directly. Let's go to insert a transient simulation engine and set up the time step and the stop time and launch the simulation. Once the simulation done, you can find all the current and the voltage uh, data will be saved in ADS dataset, and we can select to show any of them. Okay, and for this case, because we select to uh, display all the parameters here, which means that we can sweep uh, those parameter values, let's try to launch a tuning uh, in ADS. So click on this uh, tuning button and we select uh, multiple variables like uh, we select the VCC and the VCS. Let's put the result window side by side. And if you change the parameter value, you can find the result will change accordingly real time. Okay, I hope you find this demonstration helpful. Thank you for watching.